Hello friends, in today's video, I wanna show you what I pack to memory keep and journal while I travel. Hi, my name is Belinda. I'm the founder of Organize and Bless Mom and I'm back with another creative idea. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you will know when a new video is posted. Well, friends, I just returned back from a weekend trip for spring break and I thought it would be the perfect time to show you what I pack in my bag when I want to continue memory keeping and continue journaling even while I travel. I did a very similar fast video um, like this on my Instagram, but I wanted to give you something more uh, in depth. And I think today is a great day to show you what I did during my trip and what I packed in my bag so that, you know, I could continue memory keeping and journaling uh, while on vacation. So. All right, this time around, I did just take this canvas tote. Um, this is a tote I got when we went to Mount Rushmore in South Dakota and it's just a simple tote it doesn't have anything inside except just a big open space and I just wanted to um, have something that I could throw everything in so I'm going to be unpacking it and then going more in depth so I do have this pouch with my markers and then I do have a uh, this one and this one with many other tools that I'll show you. I do have my planner, which I will show you in a minute. I did take my Bible journal and also my gratitude journal to continue gratitude. And then I do, I did take my reading materials, the book I'm reading, the magazine. I took just two sticker books and we'll talk about how um how i use those sticker books and then of course my chargers and that was um all that i packed with me in this bag so relatively i would say minimal uh supplies so let me show you each one all right so for journaling for my bible journal and then my gratitude journal i really don't need many supplies the only thing that i was grateful for was that I did take uh, some sticker books because I left in a rush and I had not pre-decorated my page. So this was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday trip. So the only day that I was gonna journal in my Bible journal was Friday since I don't journal during the weekend. So I didn't have um, these pages decorated, but I did pack uh, two two sticker books, which were uh, this travel one and then this uh, Homebody Seasons. And I was able to get some stickers here from the Homebody Seasons so that I could have a little bit of um, just my usual decorating inside my journal. And then I just used my Bible app on my Bible to read the chapter that I wanted to read and then just do my journaling. So that, um, so this one takes just very little, um, supplies and then for my grateful um what is this gratitude planner that one i do pre-decorate for the week and then i just jot down with a pen my three things i'm grateful for so that one also didn't require many tools to continue um journaling but my memory keeping did and that's what most of the supplies go for so let me show you what i what else i had in there all right, so let's go through these pouches. So I do have this pouch. Actually, it is a bare minimal minerals pouch. It's one of those pouches that you get for, um, you know, when you buy makeup. And I like it. It's really, it fits these uh, Tombow markers really nice. And it has a really nice line to it. And it just kind of opens up, but it has these little things here. Uh, so if you can find a little pouch, with this little protection, it's really nice. So I did have just a handful of markers and I do tend to overpack on my markers uh, because I didn't use uh, many of these, maybe one, two, maybe about three of them, three of the colors, but I did want to have other colors just in case. And then I did take this mild liner that I've been using for uh, my planner. 
um, I did take two of my favorite black pens. So this one is a current favorite. It's the Sharpie S gel and it's, it is a 0.5. It a, has a really nice uh, sharp little fine point. And then this one's also one of my favorites from Office Depot. It is the Tool T-U-L pen and I believe it's a fine, fine point um, and also very, very fine. And then I do have my whiteout. Uh, I have a pair of scissors and I do have this. So this is a bookmark that I have had for a lot of years, but I like that it's really sharp. So it helps me cut off uh, washi really well, also make lines. And that's, that's pretty much why. Uh, it's kind of handy. So all these things, um, I use these markers to continue with my trackers and also to memory keep my pens, of course, for writing. Let's see what else we have. All right, so these two pouches are from Cultivate What Matters. Both of them are, and they're really cool because they have this band, so it could go you know, on top of your planner or even, you know, on your luggage, whatever you want to attach it to. And then the print is uh, some of my favorite. I love this pink one. And then I love this really colorful floral one. So let me show you what's in this pink one. It has a really cool little design here. And these have a really pretty they're lined inside, it's like a cloth lining. So in here, I did have uh, things for memory keeping. So I have stamps. And then the other thing I put in here were washi tapes, okay? So let's go through the stamps. So I just kind of picked, um, let's see how many. So I did pick two traveling stamps. So I picked this New York one that had like eat, drink, vacation. And I like this city one, but I didn't even use it. So it just has a variety, although it is for this for a New York theme stamp. It has just very generic vacation things that I did use. And then I did use this uh, Simple Story Save Travels stamp. I love this one. It's like a doodle kind. And the camera always comes in handy. And then the little sayings are kind of nice as well. And then I did pack three other stamps. So I always like this currently stamp from Studio Calico. I'm not sure. I'll put the name of this stamp so you know. I use this one just for like everyday decorating, but it has like, you know, currently reading, currently eating, currently exploring, all that kind of good stuff. This one's a fairly new one. Uh, it is from Studio Calico and it, um, it just has a lot of sayings. Love this, real life, good stuff, too cool, even, you know, no way. Uh, so it's a really versatile one. And I do have this uh, Amy Tangerine stamp with American Crafts, and it is called Brave and Bold. And it just has a lot of little, sometimes when I need to fill space, I like to use these little leopard and dots and this little lined to just uh, put, you know, just to fill in some awkward white space. The other thing I did do is uh, take washi. So washi is really good to, you know, just make a nice border. So I have been liking this um, three pack of uh, travel washi from the Happy Planner. I've been using that in um, the different memory keeping pages from vacation. And then I just kind of picked um, just random ones that I thought I would go with. Um, this like summery and then this like summertime green one. And then I picked this floral, which is also by Cultivate What Matters. And then I did use this one, which is, I believe I got this one at Hobby Lobby. This washi tape is like this green and it has like, um, like the world, the world map in the back life is an adventure and it's just really cool to just embellish your pages for memory keeping so that's what i had in this pouch and all this is for my memory keeping all right so in the second pouch it has this really pretty um nice 
floral pattern and then inside it has just a, this coral cloth lining and then the outside is like um what can you it looks like waterproof like you know it won't it can't get it wet it's really nice okay so in this one i did have my little chamois uh, cloth so this cloth you just kind of get it wet and it helps you to clean off your stamps when you're finished i did take my black my favorite black which is inky black by studio calico i also had my uh, runner this is a like adhesive that i got from scrapbook.com i did take a glue stick one acrylic block that I use on all the stamps and I did take my Canon Ivy so the Canon Ivy um, I used it to print and so I did need the charger I use it to print my photos so what I did is I wanted to maximize um, my printing so in here let's see if I can show you in here oh <laughs> looks like I ran out um, so I did use up all the little um, photo papers I had in here but as you can see I believe it's a two by three so you have so what I did is instead of printing one photo I actually printed two photos per paper that way I kind of printed um, you know maximize my printing this printer is not the best quality but since the purpose of the memory keeping during travel times is just to keep up with the habit it works so um it worked for me it works for me when i travel because i'm i'm not printing a whole lot and i do try to print at least two pictures per paper so i'll show you here in a bit how that looks let me show you what else i had in my bag all right when i travel i do try to limit myself to just some minimal uh, supplies so I did just uh, I only took two books and uh, so this is a really nice travel book that I am enjoying um, I've been using it a lot and this is a recollections book um, so I got it at Michael some time ago and then I did take this uh, happy planner home body seasons book this book I got at uh, Hobby Lobby so this one, the advantage of this one is that it does have seasonal. So it has spring, summer, fall, and winter. So I did like some of the um, things that it had for spring. And I did use it. Uh, I, it came in handy, especially for that, <laughs> that journaling page that I was going to do in my Bible journal. So, so I know sometimes we think, wow, like I cannot live in myself to just two sticker books. But... The beauty of having just a few items is that you maximize what you have and you realize you don't need as many things because the choice is so limited. It actually does help to make your memory pages or your journal pages much faster because you can only pick, I, I could only pick from these two books. So it made for making my pages really fast. So let me show you my planner and how I pack that. All right, so in this little um, happy planner, this is my like travel happy planner so i kind of just keep it in this cover in these small discs and i just pull out what i want to take with me for the for the trip so i do take my vision board um, because it's real easy to take it with me i do have a little bit of tracking there in the back for my social media i do take my tracker for a Bible reading and then I just have a bunch of trackers here and Bible tracking there and just different things I track you know like my steps and things like that so all that's in there and then back here I did take my memory planner so this is my memory planner this is the pages of, that I needed to memory plan while I was on vacation and then this is my memory journal so once the day is over, I just print out a couple of pictures and just um, just put some journaling, you know. Uh, and I am limiting myself to a page a day. So I like to to talk about every every certain things I did during the day. I kind of want to capture the day. 
And so that's kind of what I did. And I am really enjoying um, doing memory keeping again in the Happy Planner because I like to be able to, you know, take out the page. I can take out the page and I can work on it. And then I just, when I'm ready to work the next page, I just flip it. And I'm kind of not even paying attention to these. So this is a photo layout uh, planner. These pages come from a photo layout planner that the Happy that the Happy Planner um, made. I say so they did a travel box, and that's where this planner came from. But I'm kind of not even. Sometimes I do use some other spaces, but I'm kind of creating my own thing, as you can see here. And then I just put like big headers, and then I journal and I put my photos. So I usually just start with the photos of, you know, in my head, what do I want to talk about? And then make space for the headers, then write in the headers and then put in the decoration. Then I'll write in um, my journaling. So some days like in this one, I did not, um, I forgot to decorate. <laughs> so I didn't have much space to put in stickers. This is mostly just pictures and uh, journaling so that works too you know whatever whatever works but this is so this is where i i was using that little so these two just imagine these two were in one strip and i just kind of maximized so this day i use one two three three photo papers and i just put two two photos per paper so that I could um, put as many or print out as many pictures as possible. So that is um, what I have in here. I ran, I couldn't continue memory keeping since I ran out of photo paper, but now I'm home so I can print in my, in my Epson printer. And I do have some, just some copy or just some paper that I can write notes with. And that is my planner. Well, friends, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for coming to watch how I organize my bag uh, for memory keeping and journaling while I travel. I hope it just gives you some ideas to encourage you to continue your memory keeping and your uh, journaling while you are on the go. All right, friends, as always, if you like the video, please give me a like and if you want to comment or if you have any questions on any of my supplies I'll be happy to answer them just leave them down below all right I'll see you in the next one bye bye